Hey everybody, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so we're gonna do a general read. Let's see what messages we get today. I'm using the Twin Flame Journey Oracle deck, um, and then we'll see what other cards we'll need to use once we start getting into the tea. All right, so let's get a collective read. Let's see what's going on with the collective. for the collective please. Ooh, we got Dark Night of the Soul. Ooh, somebody in a dark energy. Oh, it looks like it's a divine masculine. It says the answer is yes, divine masculine. Okay. All right. Somebody's divine masculine is taking a new direction. It was time for them to surrender. All right, so definitely somebody's divine masculine could have been in like a dark space, okay? Somebody's divine masculine is in a dark space. They want to take a new direction. I also see that they are having some type of regrets. Yeah, and Divine Masculine came right back out. Is at the bottom of the deck again. So, they could be going through some type of regrets. Okay, so let's find out what's going on. I'm getting some I'm getting somebody's divine masculine um may want to compromise. They could have been mirroring and also playing the victim. So now they're trying to refocus. They know that they got free will. Um, but they did go through some type of wake up call, okay, and now they're trying to reinvent themselves. They may be trying to reinvent themselves and be more like a family man, okay? So let's see what's going on. Show me this divine masculine's energy. Yes, you could have been separated from the divine masculine. That separation. So you could be, you feel like this is your twin flame. Y'all are in your separation um, phase, okay? There's some growing that divine masculine need to do. They have plenty other, I'm gonna be honest, it looks like this Divine Masculine has some other options that they were exploring. Um, they don't want to communicate, I'm seeing them not wanting, to, not wanting to talk about it, not wanting it to be a topic, but it looks like they are going through some type of awakening. You may not be in communication with your Divine Masculine right now. Y'all are on, separ uh, on separation. This person is definitely missing you. Like, they're looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia. We got photographed. They could be looking at your pictures. Okay. When it comes to new direction... There's some truth that needs to come out, okay? So, Divine Masculine got some secrets, okay? They just don't want to talk about it. We got the Phoenix in talking. They just don't want to talk about it, okay? We got Twin Flames right here. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to bring this up. But I feel like it needs to be brought to the forefront. Yes. 
They took a new direction here. They could be dealing with another party. We got soulmates that they're in some type of contract with, okay? They know, they, they stabbed you in the back. They stabbed you in the back. We got stabbed in the back. And they did this because they're one-sided. They could be real self-absorbed, narcissistic energy. They could have wanted you to chase. See, we got the chaser and a runner. This is definitely giving me twin flame energy. So definitely this is your counterpart. Um, they took a new direction. Tell me more. It looks like talking, interested, conversing more. Um, they're contact and they're they're talking. They're in communication with someone else. Okay, they're they're being a runner right now. There's this runner chaser phase that twin flames unfortunately go through. What are they having regrets about? Oh, okay. They're regretting that they could be dealing with a third party. They had a third party interference. We got seduction. They regret it. Whoever they uh, are running behind now and dealing with now, they are regretting it. They thought it was going. They thought the grass was greener. We got paradise, happiness, enjoying each other. Yeah. And look at this. We got mirror ascending. Karmic relationship and chaser. Yep. They chasing behind a karmic. They are chasing behind a karmic right now. They thought the grass was greener. This third party could uh, be bringing you up all the time, spying on you. Love to bring you up. got clock and bolt it was it's time for them they made a decision to move on and converse with somebody else they could have fell in love with their karmic they fell in love with this karmic because it, this karmic don't have no boundaries we got coffin and girl with a snake they don't got no boundaries now they over here have all these regrets what else I knew it. Yep. I told you. Somebody is spying on you. Now, the person that is spying on you is this person's karmic partner. They ran off with a karmic. Um, they're going to receive some type of lesson, but it's going to happen around spring. Around spring, it looks like they're going to be receiving some type of lesson, okay? Dealing with this karmic. Dealing with this karmic partner. This karmic is sitting here spying on you. This karmic over here trying to get an understanding of, like, trying to understand you, trying to uh, mimic and copy you. And I feel like um, Divine Masculine, not sure how to, how to release this karmic. Gosh. Messing with these karmics. Let's see what's going down in the spring. Yep, your twin flame. Your twin flame. Um, 
it looks like they're going to be contacting you, reaching out to you, trying to gain some, uh, give you some clarity. They're going to be trying to give you some type of clarity. They may be coming to you telling you how they, they were wearing a mask, how their relationship with the karmic wasn't really what, what it was or what you think it is. How their heart is with you. And see, we got heart with the key and abundance. Now, let's see why it's received here. They're going to be saying how they're not going to run off no more. They're going to want to take things to the next level with you. Now, what's the lesson? I want to see what the lesson is. See, right now, they ain't learned their lesson yet. They haven't learned their lesson yet. But trust and believe, it's coming. We got Grim Reaper and sunglasses. Something's going to end. Something is definitely going to end, okay? It says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. That's going to be the lesson. Because this, this situation with this karma is going to end. The situation with this karma is going to end. Tell me about the karma partner. Ooh. Yeah, they're going to end up stabbing this karmic in the back. They're going to decide to be more truthful and open up more and uh, give you the clarity that you need. Yep. We got date. They were over here dating their karmic, filling them up. They fell in love. We got kisses, falling in love. They fell in love with their karmic. And they're going to end up, see, they took a risk with these. They're going to end up stabbing their karmic in the back. <laughs> wow. This is going to happen in the spring. And guess what? The spring ain't even too far away. Spring will be here before you know it. They're going to get that. What goes around comes around. They're going to get that karma. They're going to get what they deserve. Because they did something that was way out of pocket. Way, way, way out of pocket. And now they're sitting here with regrets. Sitting here with regrets. Because this is their energy. Dark night of the soul. They was in there coming from their, their dark side. They were showing their dark side. Let's find out about the karmic. How does the divine masculine feel about the karmic? is real um, unremorseful. They don't care about nothing. We got sorry, not sorry. They don't care about what people think about them. They don't think that what they was doing was wrong. Okay? And we got shaking my head. No words can do it. No justice. No justice. Stupid move. Disappointment. So they're going to end up being disappointed. <laughs> they're going to end up being disappointed. They may like this person because this person could be like an influencer or this perfect person karmic could be popular they have the power to influence monitor your reputation marketing persona persuaded like this karmic could be kind of popular online but i'm telling you this this karmic don't got no chill this karmic has no chill they be doing the most they don't got no chill they super duper extra they don't got no chill I'm telling you, the person over here trying to get popular, insta famous. They trying to they trying to boost up their followers or something. That's what it looks like to me. Like they did this is for attention. But the relationship really be struggling. It ain't even all that. The grass ain't even green over there. This they gonna realize that this person really not who they think they is. 
Um, but then we got well played. They're going to wake up and realize that this person is like, they should have kept this like something casual. But somebody ended up feeling played. We got well played. Carmen going to end up feeling like she got played. He or she got played. This person that they're dealing with likes to be online a lot. I'm seeing Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Like, they did it for some attention. They had a little attention for her. Let's see what actions they're going to take towards the Divine Feminine. Yeah, they come with the offer. <laughs> they come in with an offer. And see, it looks like with the five of wands and the six of cups, somebody's still upset about the past. They're going to want to come in and ask, can they start over? Um, they're going to ask you, can they start over? They're going to want to start over. Didn't I tell you, you got six of wands? See, this person wants some attention. That's their problem. They want some attention. I see somebody declining their offer. Cause it done went too far. <laughs> it it done went too far. I see somebody declining the offer. I told you, this person wants to be like popular. Like I see, oh gosh, yeah. This person spying on you. Telling you, they feel like y'all could work this out with that three of pentacles. The challenge is how to move it forward. They think that <laughs> they they're very physically attracted to you, but they see a, also see a lot of growth in you. Okay, they see a lot of growth. Like a lot physically, mentally, spiritually, all of that. Like they see that you have blossomed. Okay, so how are they going to try to make this work? See, they took a chance that they shouldn't have took, and they know that. So they don't even know how to come towards you. And see, you over here basically in your temperance energy. You in your chill mode, you in your, you vibing, you minding your business, you're blessed, you're getting everything that you ask for, spirit is definitely, everything that you ask for spirit for is going in your favor. This person is waiting, just waiting on, waiting to tell you how much they miss you. They was hoping that you was going to be willing to fight for them in the past. But it ain't work out like that. It ain't going, it ain't go that way. This person missing you. They missing you. 
They missing you, but the thing about it is, is they don't even know how to come towards you. Cause they done, they done did so much. Ten of Wands. You done seen too much. You know, they done wasted too much time. And it's like you done grown past them. You done evolved way too much for them to even, they don't even know how to approach you. They wanted some attention. You let them go out to go get that. I see y'all did not chase them. <laughs> chase who? For what? <laughs> I see y'all did not chase. And they ended up, they ended up chasing behind the karmic. And either the karmic is going to stab them in the back or they're going to stab the karmic in the back. <laughs> y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.